this morning, guys. We're gonna be testing some 40 Smith and Wesson Plus P. And you're gonna be like, Plus P, 40 Smith and Wesson's already high pressure. Leave it to Buffalo Bore, guys. Buffalo Bore can load something to the max every time. This is a 155 grain jacketed hollow point. They got this thing rated at 1300 feet per second. And I believe he's using a 3.9 inch barrel Taurus. You need to check online. And there is warnings about this round. Do not shoot this round in an unsupported Glock barrel, which basically means do not shoot this in your regular Glock 23. I'm gonna put all kinds of warning links up here. You guys follow them. As you can see there, I have an XD40 on the table. I do not have a Glock 23. And I'm gonna chrono this and see what I'm getting out of this XD40. We're gonna shoot it today into some clear ballistics gel calibrated, four layers of denim like we always do. Let's see what Buffalo Board did this time. We got six serrations on this hollow point here. Pretty typical of their hollow points. Looks nice and sharp, nice deep cavity there. Let's see what we can do with the Buffalo Bore 40 Smith & Wesson Plus P, 155 grain. Let's check it out, guys. And for all those people that are gonna tell me this XD40 is not a supported barrel, there's your proof, so shut up. Yes, it is. It's only the Glock 23 that I know of. There might be other pistols out there. That's how you check it, right there. It is completely supported around the casing. It is not going to bulge the brass at all. That is the worry with shooting high pressure loads out of the Glock 23. Here we go, guys. Okay, guys, here we go with that 40 Smith & Wesson Plus P Buffalo bore. Let's check it out. I'm going to kind of keep a top angle going. Maybe you guys can catch the action. Let's check it out. You guys got a pretty good shot right there. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, you can see where that went in right there. Let's go up to the front here. About a half an inch. Blew it open. I mean, that is one hell of a wound track, especially in clear ballistics gel. This stuff does, usually does not show the best track in the world. But this one is amazing. It is blowing open down in there. You can see right about, about that half inch, that thing develops instantly. Just plows through there. Going so fast, you can see it burnt the gel. Come on down to about that eight mark right here. And you can see, so basically from about the half inch to the eight, that massive wound channel right there. That is devastation. And then it starts to lose some of its energy. Still twirling, still cutting in. Still looking really good down in there. We're at the 10. We're at the 11, still kicking it. We get down to about that 13. And then it really starts to lose its energy. And then about the 14 is where it streamlines. And you can see it streamlines, hits that second block goes down goes down goes down and you can see right there at 22 inches bullet facing forward way down there in the gel it's going to take me a second to dig that up out of this stuff for sure let me get that up out of there and take a look at it 22 inches a lot of penetration especially for 155 grain but look at that massive wound track that is massive let me get that up out of there for you guys. Okay guys, got that buffalo bore up out of there, that 22 inches, you guys see right there, it just flattened everything back. This thing was just going so fast. It just ripped all the pedals off of it, basically. Except for that one little side right here, surprised it didn't pedal, I guess it was going so fast it couldn't. But you can see there, just flattened everything back. We'll get a side, side view through this, maybe we can see some pedals coming off, stuff like that. This bullet was just going so fast. Look at the trauma that it caused. 22 inches, pretty damn, pretty damn deep. Give it that. Pretty wicked wound track, though. Let me get a side view of that. Okay, guys, here's that side view. I'm just going to run you down, give you a little play-by-play. -play. You're looking at about one to three. 
you can see it develop. That is a pretty wicked wound track. You can see there it's going to start to taper. It gets a little fuzzy right here. A little imperfection in the gel. But you can see the streamline. You can see it starts to taper and then it's going to be hard to see. But it's there. Right there is the streamline. And that's where it streamlines on down. And that's where we pull up out of there. There's what it used to look like. And there's what it's like now, guys. Weights and measurements and post.